It's certainly possible that within the next couple of years, a substantial number of private universities, and I think, first of all, make that point, as opposed to national and public universities, uh, a large number of private universities may go out of business. Uh, certainly, that's uh, a dire problem for Japan, but quite frankly, uh, I don't really see it uh, at this point in time as a problem for TUJ. One of the reasons for that is, of course, the basic social problem behind this is uh, the decline in the youth population. But uh, there is a secondary problem, which is obviously also the uh, decline in population of the rural areas of Japan in particular. So many of those universities are in rural areas. There are more and more people who are leaving rural areas, moving to either Tokyo or Kansai uh, for their education, business, whatever. But there's also a very important pro problem uh, with the universities themselves, and that is that many of those universities really don't have a mission. Uh, they've kind of lost their mission, or they never really had a clear mission in the first place. So when there was a large number of young people to go around, that really didn't matter. But now it really does matter. Uh, and the important thing about TUJ is that we have uh, a very good sense of mission. We know who we are, we know what we do. Uh, we are recognized as one of the most uh, global institutions of higher education in Japan. Uh, our brand as an American university in Japan, as the only foreign university in Japan is very strong. And as Japan uh, develops more uh, global higher education or attempts in Japanese universities to develop more global higher education. Uh, in point of fact, we as an American university are very strong in exactly that, both in our education and uh, in our administration. So the more Japan stresses the need for global education, the stronger we're going to be in the market, the better brand we're going to have. And quite frankly, as an American university, I think that uh, uh, our educational strengths in global higher education are very obvious. And now that we have the basic agreement for the lease done, uh, that's really just the start. There is so much more to do. Right now, what we're working on is uh, primarily the facilities, still the facilities aspect. So we are working with our own design architects and also with the main campus uh, in order to come up with what we feel will be the best interior design uh, for the building as well as external landscaping. So that's still a, a priority at the moment. But we're also developing more and more discussions with Showa Joshidai on, uh, first of all, primarily uh, the academic relationship. So we have gone a long way in terms of our discussions on a, a dual degree program in which students will study at both Showa Women's University and also at TUJ and receive diplomas from both. Uh, that is with one college in particular. Now, there are other colleges at Shoah Women's University who want to have the same kind of agreement. So we have begun discussions with them. Uh, we also have to talk about what the rules are going to be for students on both sides of the campus, so to speak. So one of the best things about this is going to be the flow of students from Showa Women's University to TUJ and from TUJ to Showa Women's University. So in that mixing of students on both campuses, uh, we have to come to agreement on whose codes of conduct, whose rules of behavior, etc., pertain to which situation. So there's many, many things left uh, to discuss and we are you know, beginning those discussions now, uh, we, they will be ongoing over the la next year and a half. And then lastly, uh, Temple University of Japan has been chosen 
uh, by the Ministry of Economics, Trade and Industry as one of 2,000 companies around the country uh, which will be supported in our investment in the future development of the region in which we exist. So as we move to Setagayaku, we will be working with Shaw Women's University and corporate partners with Setagaya Ward, Setagaya City. As a university, first and foremost, we're interested in how any program uh, supports our, the academic development of our students. So we think that the 2020 Olympics and Paralympics uh, are going to be a great resource for our students. First of all, just in terms of academically, I'm sure that our faculty members, uh, particularly those who teach contemporary Japanese society, Asian society, politics, etc., will be able to link the Olympics to their courses. But also there are going to be many, many uh, opportunities for internships, uh, and also for uh, service learning for our students. So that will be important as the various committees develop. Uh, then our students will have the opportunity to, to work with those committees, work with the national sports teams, uh, etc. And then also uh, another area that I think is very important is there are people on the main campus who are very interested in the Olympics and Paralympics being in Tokyo in 2020. For example, uh, the uh, main campus television station will be sending over uh, reporters to uh, broadcast uh, and we will be supporting them. And then we as an institution will also be supporting the Olympics in uh, various ways. We will be in Setagaya uh, City at that point, uh, and the American Olympic team will also be in Setagaya City, so we anticipate that we will be supporting them. Um, we hope that we will be able to have some Temple University sports teams here uh, to play warm-up games with uh, Japanese national teams. Uh, so there are many ways in which we feel that we will benefit both academically and that we will be able to support uh, the main campus in their interests. And we as an institution will be able to support the city of Tokyo and also the Olympics Committee uh, in fulfilling their mission. So in doing all of that, we think this is yet another very good opportunity for us to brand TUJ uh, in Tokyo and in Japan. Mm -hmm.